In this video, we bring you sliding doors for beginner to intermediate East Coast swing. What's up everyone, it's Brian B. And Miss Megan. So we're gonna demo the sliding doors. We're gonna do it both directions. So if we did a basic triple, triple step and rock step, triple step, rock step, triple step, rock step, triple step and rock step, triple step. And we'll take it out with an underarm turn. Sliding doors are super fun. It's a timing change. So the basic footwork is gonna change just a little bit. Up to this point, it's been triple step, triple step, rock step but we're gonna now drop one of the triples. So let's set it up this way. We'll demo it one time this way so you can see. We're gonna learn our footwork from this orientation. It's gonna work really well. So leaders, off of my basic and followers, if you can see Megan's footwork in the, in the back side there, uh, great, but we'll flip her to the front here in a second. So we dance a basic and a basic and a rock step from here. Quarter turn to my right, a lot like my shoulder check. I dance a triple step. Now, I'm gonna lose the second triple, go right to a rock on my right foot, rock step. Now I'm gonna go back where I came from with a triple step and a rock step. Do it again. Triple step, rock step, triple step, and stop right there. Let's do it one time from the top, starting with a basic. Basic, triple, basic, triple, here we go. Triple step with a back, rock, triple step, do it again. Triple step with a back, rock, triple step, and then we're done. We could go underarm turn to finish it out. So leaders, I'm gonna slide back behind Megan so you followers can see her. All right, so followers, if you watch the video for shoulder checks, your footwork is pretty much the same. There might be a slight angle difference. So we have with basic triple step, triple step, rock step. You're gonna be turning over your left shoulder just a little bit. We have triple step. Now we're gonna rock back for rock, step. Now you're going to turn over your right shoulder, triple step and rock step. Two more times. We have triple step, rock back, triple step, rock step. From here, we're just going to do an inside turn or underarm turn, triple step, but triple step, rock step. Cool. Let's do it one time, uh, just big picture, and then we'll go ahead and talk about how we lead it. So we have done a basic, right? rock step we do the sliding doors we're going to talk about what goes on with the arm in just a second if we did it once we might as well do it again before we get to the underarm turn okay so what's going on lead wise um so as i'm doing my basic triple triple rock step from here lead wise i want to try to make sure that the, my right hand off of that rock step sets megan in this path right she would normally do an entire basic there but here we're gonna go rock step. So as I move to my left, the sooner that I can get my hand on her, the better, so that I can slide it down. And we're gonna use what's called a, a little hook or sometimes a bracelet grip. So as the leader, I'm sliding this down. This clues Megan in. We're both gonna retract our elbows to get to that catch, which will, oop, wrong foot, which will let us get to the rock step on that side. So we do this again from a basic, basic, basic rock pull her straight slide the hand down and rock step now good news is she's probably clued in if she got this far she kind of knows what we're doing at this point but i'm going to repeat the process with my left hand triple step catch this early slide down triple step rock step triple step rock step and i'm going to do this from the other direction and i'm going to kind of bring attention to what i'm doing with the hand to contact my partner earlier so we have a basic, basic rock step. So already I'm being proactive, reaching across with this hand and rock step. So I'm not gonna wait till she gets to me because it's gonna be too late and we're gonna be fishing for that hand. So I wanna be proactive with my right hand rock step and my left hand rock step and my right hand rock step and my left hand rock step. So for those of you leaders who have never followed, I'm going to let you chime in a second. Um, when you are let go as the follower, especially as we're learning, right? If you're let go, you're like, oh my God, what am I doing? What's my job? What's my responsibility? So as the leader, if you can keep in contact with your follower, it's calming to go, hey, I know that someone's there. I got something to pay attention to. 
So what are you paying attention to? How would you understand this pattern? Give me your thoughts. Uh, so first things first, followers. Uh, most of the time when I am turning a direction, I am keeping my hands somewhere on this plane and not on me or, you know, stuck down or, or really stuck to me in this same plane. What that means for this, as soon as I feel their other hand trailing, I'm kind of already getting the idea that I need to connect to this down through the arm. So once I do the first one, I'm going, oh, he really wants my hands out. That's going to be a lot easier. So I'm kind of keeping them in a V off of my body. That's and then make that easier to segue that if that arm is up in general, as we lead things like this, it lets me pick up this hand if I wanted to do another pattern for something else. Cool. So there is your sliding doors for beginner to intermediate East Coast swing with some great tips from Miss Megan.